Okay. Um, so what we're going to do this morning um, is that we're going to up the ante on our breath meditation. Um, so we're going to sit for 20 minutes. <gasps> My goodness. So um, I'm going to do very minimal um, direction on this. I might just come in occasionally just to help you recognize that you're following your thoughts rather than focusing on your breath. Um, so remembering that the purpose of a breath meditation is to concentrate. And so the, uh, the, the goal is to try and recognize um, when we've lost concentration and to note the distraction, whatever that is, whether it's because we're following a thought or because we're hearing a sound that we're following or we're feeling bored or frustrated or whatever it is, whatever emotion might be arising, or perhaps we've got some sort of pain in our body or fatigue even. Um, so the purpose of the breath meditation is to try and maintain concentration. And then the mindfulness component is simply noticing each time you lose that concentration and then come back. So we're going to do that for 20 minutes and we'll see how you go. Um, and then we'll have a break for a few minutes so you can have a wander around. And then we're going to do the resting in awareness again. Because this, for me, is the most important meditation that we need to develop the practice of. So this Kusulu meditation, this resting in awareness. Um, so we'll try both of these this morning and see how you go. So both of these meditations require you to sit in posture. So remembering the posture is straight back. Really be very aware of making your back straight, like really feel like there's a string tied to the top of your spine that's being tugged, you know, out the top of your skull. So make sure that you're really consciously having a straight back, like an arrow is how they talk about it in Buddhism, that your, your spine is straight like an arrow. And then you bring your shoulders up and back so that your chest is sort of out slightly. So there may even be a little discomfort with that, but that's okay, that, that will pass as you practice and practice and practice sitting. Um, then your hands are in either the position of equanimity just below your navel, or you can rest them on your knees. And if you're sitting in a chair, make sure you're sitting forward in the chair. Don't lean back. If you lean back, you'll just fall asleep. Um, so sit forward in the chair with your feet flat on the floor, about a shoulder width apart. And then same position with your hands, you can choose. Your chin is just very slightly tucked in. You don't bend your head. You just very gently tuck your chin in just to take the pressure off your neck. You rest your tongue against the back of your top teeth. And either close your eyes or if you have them just slightly open then what you do is you focus on a point on the floor in front of you and your elbows out away from your body so that you can have the air flow and again it's just another way of preventing you from falling asleep Relaxing the muscles around your eyes and your mouth in particular. Allowing them to just go very soft and floppy so that your jaw is relaxed and your neck, your shoulders and so on. And remembering that what we talked about yesterday, so that if you do feel that your thoughts are very busy or you're engaging with sensory perceptions, that it's, your distraction is very busy, then try the, um, the black lotus and just see if that works. Or if you're feeling very dull and lethargic and sleepy, then try the, <coughs> the white lotus. Or if you're feeling very dull and sleepy, then open your eyes very widely, look up and allow the light to come in and then bring your concentration back. So once you're in posture, 
Just fix your concentration either on the spot just below your nostrils where you can feel that very subtle sensation of your breath or fix your concentration on the rise and fall of your abdomen and concentrate on the movement of the breath in and out of your body. And no matter how many times you lose concentration, whether it's 10 times or 10,000 times, it, it doesn't matter. But just briefly notice what distracted you and then bring your concentration back. And remembering that concentration means fixing your mind, focusing your mind on the object of meditation, which is the breath, for as long as possible, as continuously as possible, without forgetting it, without being distracted. Just set an intention for doing this meditation session in your heart and mind. That it's not just for your benefit, but for the benefit of many, many beings.
again and again you'll recognize that your concentration has been broken. When that happens, just very briefly notice what distracted you. Bring your concentration back to the breath.
Okay, so you can get up and have a bit of a walk around and a little bit of a stretch. Make sure you stretch your back and uh, your knees. So get up and have a wander about. Don't go out, but just stay in here and be mindful. Notice some of the things you haven't noticed before inside the gompa. <laughs> 